All right, so I believe this is my setup for the brakes. We definitely don't want that. We're going to drop that back a bit. Um, I just ran straight into a wall because I had them backwards, so the front end just locked up like crazy. We're not qualifying. We're probably not even going to grid just to avoid the absolute mess that will be everyone trying to go too wide through the hairpin on the pace lap because it's a short pace lap and uh, people will be dying through there because road racers can't even make it through so we've got a bunch of NASCAR people in here that haven't experienced that it could be brutal so I'm not going to try to come out ahead of the field. I'm just going to try to not die before we even get to the start finish line. Okay, it feels like I've got my braking problem solved now. We're going to have to adjust the brake bias though as the race goes on. First gear is kind of not needed. Um, through most of it. Final turn, we'll probably use it, but I feel like I'm better at my slow pace, just keeping it in second. And then try to turn this. Oh, well, it decided to turn a whole bunch. Don't want to do that. But yeah, we're not going to get a lap because my first lap I decided to chuck it into the fence. Let's see if I can slow down this time. Front stretch is even sketchy uh, with this, and we're just going to break well ahead of time. That was much better. We didn't just go straight. Uh, I've got the four speed back cranked up because this car on road course really needs a lot more force feedback. Yeah, we got 20 laps to try and not hit a wall or another car. Should have looked first there. Okay, a little bit sketchy there, but... Um, why is my graphics feeling bad maybe it's just my mouse again where'd we qualify 18th okay so um yeah 21's at the front i'm at 25 so we only would have gained a few spots do we try to grid here i don't think we do i think we chicken out i think we're just can call me a massive chicken if you want. That's fine. I think I can handle it. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the grid button, exit out. One to go. Next time that by. way, Line up on the right side. Close. Everyone can, if everyone joins, the race can get started early, and we don't have to wait the whole 50 seconds. And then, we're just going to laugh. Maybe they all make it through. Um, maybe. Maybe that happens. Or maybe they all wreck. We'll see. But I'm going with someone is going to wreck. Especially in the back. In the hairpin. I'm going to be justified in being a chicken. Okay, apparently it's just gonna count down. We might not be the only one being a chicken. So, just taking a look at this. If we can finish the race, I'm saying we get 12th place. I think we can do that. 
I think the attrition will be that high. Especially if people adjusted the brakes but forgot to turn them back. Uh, what view do we need for this? I think we need a blimp. Oh my god, why is the blimp so zoomed in? How am I supposed to see anything with this blimp? There we go. That is what we want to see. Who is going to make it? Who is going to fail? They're already almost running into each other. Well, there we go. There it is. There it is. Green flag, green flag. We knew it was going to happen. Now we just got to go. And not speed, because that would be dumb. So, we didn't gain an advantage, but we just weren't in that wreck. And Gavin was starting just ahead of us, and he is just going by now, so... It works out. We got people off already. You can't cross to the left until the blue line. Same thing on entry to one. You can't go to the right. We got the four car that is wrecked. That was from seventh place, so they're fast and gonna be catching up. We got someone backing back onto the track. And they wrecked behind us. And we're only four seconds off of Gavin. Let's go try to catch him. No, that's not gonna happen. I don't think. Incidents ahead. I think we're gonna hear that all race long. Alright, so I gotta quit kicking it around like that. How many cars have we passed? We're in 20th. Gavin's got half a lap of practice. I got a couple of laps in. It's, it's hard to get a lot of practice in on longer tracks like this, especially where you fail and have to start all over again. Well, I'm shifting to first. Quit doing that. It's not necessary. This thing pulls in second gear. He's pulled it out point two on us. Definitely being an absolute chicken into the corners. Hard to get grip out of the corner there. You can cut this. There is no cutting on that one. The next corner there is a cutting. Shane is eight seconds ahead of us. Slow car ahead. Cast off the head. Some tire marks and a new person in front of us now. Oh, Jesus. Okay, don't kick the rear end out. There we go. Gavin is checking out. He's getting like half a second on us every lap. We didn't get any free spots that lap. 12th place might be, uh, optimistic for us. Yellow flag. No. Very long yellow flag. Gavin's got someone just ahead of him. It looks like everything's backed up to us, so... That's good, we're at least going to have a chance to maybe race someone. Even though we were chicken. The 
traffic jam at some point. Session best. Okay, that's not bad. Made it into the 24s. Didn't think that would happen. I think we just had someone eat a wall ahead of us. No, nope, they just locked it up through the corner. It's on now. I feel like I've passed Gavin here before. Maybe it was in the Legends. I should back off and not go side by side through there. Especially with the 10, he's going to be quicker than us. and catching up quickly and we didn't need to wreck each other through that section I thought he had broke his uh, front end but apparently not alright looks like we're a little better in the well, I was going to say we're a little better in the braking zone, but then we nearly just drive it at the last minute into the tire barrier. We are in 19th, but that's about to be 20th again. We are getting really pushy on exit. That is not good. Getting a little, little dicey under braking as well. Just balancing on the brakes like an idiot. see coming out of there, so stayed wide. far ahead of us. There's a big bump right here at the 400, and if you start breaking at it, it just completely locks everything up, so you got to be careful of that. Lock it up and take it over the pit line. 
because he will get a penalty for that. Terrible though. We're almost to halfway. The car in P2 just at the fastest lap. 22.24. Yeah, 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 they're good. Good for them. This guy's breaking a little early. Just had a massive walk up to three cars ahead. Try not to hit Gavin here. Looks like we might have a pass attempt. No, I don't think that guy's catching him quick enough to pass into one. Seventeen still. Getting more comfortable, which for me is bad on a road course. The more comfortable I get, the more mistakes I make. As I try a little harder, try to get a little extra. Right, guys. Uh, He gives it to us. Oh, that guy nearly locked up into the wall. Got a broken car, maybe? No. This guy, though, is locking up his front end over and over. He's eventually just going to go straight into a wall. Should be 16th now. help us out. Keeps Aaron a little bit further away from us who has just put a little more pressure on us. This has actually been pretty fun. A lot more fun than uh, this car is at Watkins Glen, that's for sure. Gavin yeah, gets the big snap on exit, so I'm glad it's not just us feeling that. I'm just going to partial throttle it here. Try not to slide up too far so that I'm not heading back to the right when I'm trying to brake. Ah, don't do shit like that. We don't need to do that. It's not going to make us any faster. It's just going to make us wreck. We are in 15th now, so after getting past Shane, gets us another one. That's a little hard, but we probably go in much deeper. Ten car just looped it. No! Oh, we were almost done. We had a little lock up there. We 
followed Gavin with his little lockup and start moving the brakes back a little bit. It's definitely not as uh, loose on entry under braking. So I think we can start dialing that back to attempt to avoid any front locking. slowed down more. Not that we need to slow down more, it's just gets me to the comfortable speed where I'm not going to make a mistake. Time to go hit the button to look. Kept that really tight and slow. So deceiving, those slow corners, because you close up so much and then you just see the guy just blast away from you and you try to get on it. But you gotta be, you gotta be careful, not hop on it and loop it. far we got to throw it in if we want to try to make a pass. We also, if he passes this 23, we've got to go through as well. That's another spot parked off there. We nearly got into the back of Gavin. He's putting pressure on the guy, we're putting pressure on him. Change just dropped back a little bit. Still got a long ways to go though. We're now in 14th, so that 12th place is feeling doable. Oh, we nearly overdrove that. We're starting to push it a little harder into the corners, and uh, it's not what we need to do at the moment. All it's doing is slowing us down in the center of the corners and making our exit worse. Don't think this 23 is gonna survive. I've just seen so many little wiggles out of him, but He's holding on to it so far. Oh shit. They started breaking earlier than I thought they were going to. I had it made up in my mind where I was gonna break and then all of a sudden we were catching them. Just to give 
ourselves a bit of distance since it seems like we're a little bit quicker. Hopefully close up on the back of him at the exit. Bounce the front end. Did not get us going in the direction we needed to be going. out of them. It's the 23 locked up and then Gavin jumped on the brakes. Chain's closing back in a little bit, but we've also just kind of backed it off here. Gavin is really slowing down early now there. Pepper, Victory Fuel, and Coke, and uh, sort of Pepsi. Uh oh, Shane alive, Shane is not behind us. Lost our coke. So I feel like if we're going to make a move on Gavin, it's going to be at the end of the straight here. Although he didn't break as early that time, so maybe it won't be. Oh, that wasn't good. Miss shift. Dunner there. Again, we're struggling with the upshifts now. That's not good. drove into the inside wall. Leader's 10 seconds behind us. Hopefully we don't have to deal with them, but I think we're going to. Just because they're a couple of seconds quicker than us, and we've got four laps left. Us catching us pretty quick, but I think they slowed each other down in the final turn. They're racing each other. We almost again almost just blew the braking zone. Started locking up. Go a little more to the rear. The car in P3 just set the fastest lap. Twenty-one point nine two four. Bad exit. I think this is 
where we got to go for it here. Car on your left. Still there. Keep to the right. There's an incident behind. Clear. Couldn't get it done. Had to try to take it there though, that was like our best Two more. Let's go. best run at him through there since uh, when we first caught him. The car in C3, just get the faster flat, 21.889. Leaders are kind of racing each other five seconds behind us, they're going to be getting the white flag next time by. disappeared. We got someone off track ahead. That's a lap car though. Calm down. Right foot's trying to get into this race a little hard. There we go. Yet another bad exit. Definitely going to jam us all up into a four car race right in front of the leaders on their last lap. Three seconds behind us. Another moment. Can't do anything here. Just gotta wait. That's gonna back us up to the leaders even more. The leader is coming up on you. They're not our fight. There's just no good situation for us here. We can't just pull over and let them go because they're on the white flag lap, so then we have no chance of passing these guys. 23 is really off pace now. Car on your left. Still there, hold your line. We just stay side by side, the leader can't lap us. Stay on the right, last lap. Keep and then the it right. works out for both of us. <laughs> Heart rate is up. We're just gonna go side by side around Long Beach for a lap. Clear. <laughs> Holy shit. I am shaking. That is, I am not good at road racing. That was frightening. We could have wrecked the leader. We could have wrecked Gavin. Could have wrecked the guy behind us and the guy in front of us. We could have screwed that up a lot, and thankfully did not. We put Gavin in a lot of bad spots, but we we had to do it to save ourselves from getting lapped at that point too. Left side, clear on the left. Car on your left. Then just the ease it around here. Can Gavin get to his inside? He can't. We're going to get 13th. Hell of a race, though. That's going to be a must watch. Who would have thunk that? <laughs> Holy crap. 
Chicken flag, chicken flag. Uh, Gavin's gonna be disappointed with that Position one, but holy we'll shit. We just stop. did like half a lap at Long Beach side by side. That was so much fun. Wow. Total must watch. Total must watch. Hope I didn't get too loud there. <laughs> What an awesome race. I want to go watch that last bit, and then we'll attempt to go through the wrecks, but this place is broken on uh, the incident, so probably not going to work out. So last lap, we start just trying to get as much as we can. But as we're trying to get as much as we can, the 23 is up here just completely screwing Gavin up so much that the guy behind us is on our tail. And so 23 gets through this section fine. But then the left-hander, he some, for some reason holds to the right and is very slow, like almost to the point where it looks like he's gonna let us go. And then that just kills his entry, which allows us to get to the right side of Gavin. And not to mention, as we're doing this, there's the leader, the two car, coming up. So two's trying to go around uh, the guy racing us. We go here just to prevent that so that we can, you know, he can't go three wide unless he wants to lose the race. Then I think he just notices the situation and backs off and lets us all race. No, because he's still in a race here for the lead. It was just really bad timing of all of that together. So Gavin's still ahead of us here. And I start getting a little squirrely here. I'm going to have to lift off, and then I lose the guy behind us. I'm not, I'm not sure if we're going three wide into this corner or what. Gavin pushes wide. We almost hit the wall. He's got to give us room, and he snaps it to the left, and then that just gets us ahead of him. And then at that point, 21's to his inside, and there's really no outside line that he can do there, and he loses that spot. But, whoo! What a race. That was awesome. All right, let's go watch. Well, first of all, let's watch how they wrecked. We saw, we were looking from the blimp cam, but we didn't actually see what happened. Looks like the inside car just pushes up and wipes. Ah, the six is kind of too far inside, but then that jams up that whole inside line, which is why we we're able to come out next to Gavin. And this guy's not going for some reason, so I guess that's why we got it. Okay. <laughs> Gavin just pretty much starts from the pits. Because he got held up so bad there. But we're driving down, and then... Then the wrecking starts, and they are three wide going into the fountain, and, well... What is the... What is this? What is... What was that? He didn't take the inside line, he took the flower line. Where was he going? Just wipes out the 17. They all stack up here. Now is the setup shop gonna wreck him? Yep, setup shop purposely wrecks him after that. Good to see that they've uh, stayed in form. Oh yeah, we forgot Billy was in this, because he was a mile ahead of us. Now we're gonna get all of the stupid incidents that aren't incidents here. 24 misses the corner. He's backing up onto the track. Six car loses it. 
hard into the wall. We got a hard race going on up here for the lead. We're just gonna have to go to the people that wrecked out and see. So let's go to their last lap and see what happened to the 12. Oh, okay. Whoops. So the 11 drives it into the wall and the 12 says, that looks fun. Now they're having a backing out contest. 12 blows his engine, the 11 doesn't. That is how his race ends. The eight is on pit road. Must've got a, oh, the, probably a penalty. I don't know, he's the one that caused the, uh, well, no, him and the six caused it. I think it was more the guy on the outside, actually, like I said, so. And it looks like he just quits there. So that is how that one goes. Shane, he made it to lap 14. He was hanging with us after his mistake. And then he goes straight in. Just does not turn, locks up left front into the wall. Six car, I think he was just on pit road, so he didn't actually wreck out, and so we're just gonna call that what it is. And uh, I am happy with that race. That was awesome. That was a must watch. Here's our one attempt where we kind of half assed it there to see if we could do it. I was just not brave enough around the outside here, and so we needed to just get in. But let's take a look at the results. I love this place. So we're going to gain 21 I rating on our road rating and 14 safety rating because we go zero incidents in that race. Gavin gets four from the start. And, uh,. Yeah, looks like the leaders had some contact up there, but they were racing tight and close, and then we saw the setup shop guy intentionally wreck a guy. So Billy gets 8th, and uh, we get 13th from Pit Road, and had an awesome race doing it. So I'm glad that we did that, because we would have been somewhere in that mess, and it kind of all worked out, because we got to have an awesome race with Gavin. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.